Today we're talking about the history behind 10 Toronto street names. Bloor Street. Bloor Street is named after this guy. Voted the friendliest man in Toronto six times in a row in the early 1800s. Uh, well, just kidding. Scariest photo in the entire city archives. Joseph Bloor, also known as Joseph Bloor with an E, was a successful innkeeper and brewer in the early part of the 19th century. He also founded Yorkville. The street was named after him in the mid-1800s. Queen Street. It was actually called Lot Street for years before being renamed Queen Street in 1837. Queen Street was actually named after, um, nope, Queen Victoria. Finch Avenue. Finch was rural, and in fact, very rural until fairly recently. But the avenue is actually named after a chap named John Finch, who owned the John Finch Hotel, opening in 1848. Here's a quick look at the view west, down Finch, from Jane in 1957 and 2021. And if you're wondering why there aren't photos of some of these people, keep in mind, many of them were long deceased by the time the first cameras came to Toronto in the mid 1800s. Young Street. For years, people kept arguing it was the longest street in the world, but that actually isn't true. The street though is named after this guy, Sir George Young, who was close friends with this guy, the Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada, John Graves Simcoe in 1847. Eglinton. Eglinton, sometimes spelled Eglinton on maps, is actually named after Eglinton Castle in Scotland. Lawrence Avenue. Lawrence Avenue, as were many of the roads and avenues north of Bloor, were rural until relatively recently. Lawrence Avenue is named after Colonel John Lawrence, who arrived in Canada in the 1790s. Here's a photo of members of his family on the northwest corner of Lawrence and Young in 1895. Kipling Avenue. Kipling Avenue was named after the author Rudyard Kipling, who in 1907 was planned to give a reading in Woodbridge. The author wasn't able to make it in the end, but the street did keep his name. Kipling, though, gave a fictional reading at the Toronto Reference Library in 1910, in season 16 of Murdoch Mysteries, alongside fictional Toronto historian Robin Moss, played by Morgan Ross, aka, yeah, it's me. Spadina Avenue, it's pronounced Spadina by some, Spadina by others. The origins of the name is Ojibwe, Ishpadina. As you can see on this current street sign, Danforth Avenue, Danforth Avenue and Road are named after an American contractor named Asa Danforth Jr., who alongside his family were instrumental in the construction of numerous streets across the city in the early 1800s. Bathurst Street. Bathurst Street is named after this chap, Henry Bathurst, the third Earl of Bathurst, who played a large role in the immigration of British subjects heading to present-day Canada following the War of 1812. Bathurst never actually made it to Canada, though. Now, if you have suggestions about other Toronto streets, please leave them in the comments section below. I'm gonna be doing future videos like this, and I will try to get to them. Now let me briefly digress. If you're interested in Toronto history, please make sure to like, comment, share, and tell all your friends. And there's a guy shoveling over there and there's a leaf blower over there. I hope they're gonna uh, follow the account as well. The sheer fact that there's a leaf blower and people shoveling and cars, perfect scenario.